Hey everybody, welcome to my show, Steve the Bartender, and we're going to go ahead and show you guys today how to make a gin martini, right? Because a classic martini has gin in it, and then you could put vodka. Vodka is a, a little bit less harsh of a liquor, so people who can't handle gin would kind of go for the vodka martini, but when the gin, but gin was the original uh, mix, uh, the original liquor for a martini. So I know you have that James Bond thing, shaken, not stirred, right? Um, vodka, you can either do shaken or stirred. They do want you to kind of shake the gin because I guess when you, gin is a little bit different, it kind of opens up the flavor and really helps it good. So you do shake it a little bit. So the way I'm making this gin martini today, folks, is I'm taking my gin. Again, we don't use real booze on this set because I don't feel like drinking all these drinks after I make them, right? Now, if you guys are all here in my audience and you're here in my house, I would definitely be making you all these drinks with real liquor. But since it's just me, all we're doing is we're using this. But we got our speed pours, and this is what we did when I went to bartending school anyway. We just used fake booze, right? So we go ahead here. We take our gin. We're going to do an eight count, which is two ounces. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we got two ounces of gin, and the rule of thumb is two to one on the booze, like I explained to you guys in other videos, right? So we got that's two. So what we have here is we have dry vermouth. Dry vermouth is going to be the one that's going to be the green label. If you get Martini and Rossi, it's going to be green label, and it's going to be clear. Basically, vermouth is just basically wine. It's like a port. It's like a wine is what it is, and it just mixes with various things like Manhattans and Martinis and such. So we go ahead and we take the dry Martini. We're going one, two, three four so there's your dry vermouth so we've got our booze in here if you can see that right there right can you see it there we go so we've got everything in there and then we got our strainer right here and put our top on i've done it a couple times but i didn't put the top on i started saying it stuff goes flying out it's pretty funny so you go shake it a little bit kind of stir it around everything's nice and mixed and got a little martini glass here martini slash cosmo glass right here you know, if this goes to, it's called straight up, people, which is the same thing we did when we made the Cosmo. It's straight up. You don't, you're not putting any additional ice or anything here. It's just straight up. It's the way it is. Straight up. I guess you could call it neat, but neat more applies to actually giving shots. That would be a, that would be a straight up. So I would be asking you, that would be neat, and this is straight up. So you go ahead and you strain the drink into it here. Yeah, and a martini is, generally speaking, it's going to be a little bit below this line. You're not going to want to go quite up to that line right there because... Again, people, this is all booze. You have gin and you have vermouth. There's no mixer in there. There's, it's not like a Cosmo. You don't have, you know, you don't have cranberry juice. You know, you, you don't you don't have lime juice or anything like that. You don't have sweet and sour mix or anything like that. So what you see is what you get. So this is a, you know, this is actually at a bar here. This would all be pure booze right here, people. There's no mixer in here. Nothing, nothing like that. So that's about how you want this thing to be filled up. You can see at that level right about right there. And that's a gin martini. And then what you do is you take two olives. I don't have any olives here, but we can pretend, right? Because this is a pretend show with pretend booze. And you would take your two olives and put them, put them on your little poker, your little straw. And you kind of hang them over, either hang them over the edge, ideally, or you can kind of just put it in like this. And then we do that. That's actually more ideal because then you put that in there. And then, then the two olives just kind of sit and soak up the booze. And as a person's, you know, standing there and they're drinking, hmm having a little sip and everything, and then, the, and then the, uh, the two olives are there, then they can go ahead and take one, eat that one, let the other one sit there. By the time they're done with their drink and they eat that last olive, that last olive is going to have soaked up some of the some of the booze and some of the, the gin and the vermouth, and it's really going to be good, and they're going to like it, and they're going to come back for another one. So again, guys, that is how to make a gin martini. And for sweet people, a little bit uh, softer palate, they can always go with the vodka. Same difference. You're shaking or stirred, but the main thing is you go ahead and you mix everything and then you strain it and you mix it with the ice because when you mix it with ice, that kind of chills it a little bit. Sometimes fancy restaurants, they'll actually have these uh, martini and Cosmo glasses. They'll actually have these pre-chilled as well. So you'll reach back here and you'll pull it out and this will already be chilled. So you have chill on top of chilled and everything's really chill and everyone's chill. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.